So a new ancient Roman city builder has been revealed and this one is called Citadellum and because it's an ancient Roman city builder of course I'm gonna have to talk about it. Now I was sent this footage a little bit early before the reveal so I can actually have a look at it and think about it a little bit and there's a lot of interesting things here especially in the context of all the other ancient Roman city builders that are being produced right now. And of course many of them are trying to live up to some of the older greats. Now there's some very interesting things that hook me here and notably right there there's a bit of a world map on this one. So there's a number of things here that feel a bit like Grand Ages Rome, a number of things here that feel like Civ City Rome like looking inside of those buildings and seeing the details in there and also it feels a bit Caesar 2 with this world map stuff and as you can see there is military but it's more of a bit of an auto battler and you can see here how combat is supposed to work but also wait a minute I'm just gonna pause right there we didn't actually see any combat there I'm gonna rewind that we didn't see the units touch each other so of course this is an initial reveal and maybe not everything is quite ready but this is a, just a point to keep in mind we don't see the units touch each other because maybe they haven't fully implemented the animations and stuff. That's just something I'm going to be keeping in mind as we move forward with further reveals of Citadellum. Now, they also sent this 10 minute long video of, let's be honest, curated gameplay. So this is not going to be raw gameplay, but it's at least showing gameplay footage, gameplay graphics, and how the game is supposed to work. And this is... First of all, it's from the developers of One Military Camp, which was more of a colony sim management tycoon kind of game. But this one is supposed to be a city builder. But you can see there's quite a bit of the management colony sim elements, which have come from their background, you know. But you can see there's harvesting of resources and the interactions of the citizens with the buildings and facilities you place down. And it's a little unclear right now how individually simulated each citizen is. Does every citizen have a stat? Like, do they have individual skills so it's more colony sim? Or is it more of a population and the citizens walking around are a bit more of a representation of a larger scale population? It's a bit unclear how that works right now, but you can see this is having some, you know, auto battler RTS stuff as well. You can see the resources in the top left. There's wood I assume stone and then food and then metal iron maybe but yeah these gods <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about them they're huge and I know they're gods and they're supposed to be larger than life but they're so huge but the gods walking around really does remind me of Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom where you had the gods spawn and bless things and interact with the city and that seems to be something they're pulling into this game. So this one does seem to be trying to pull a lot of inspiration from past city building games. And what feels like equally the Impressions Builders, Civ City Rome and Grand Ages Rome. And all of those games have some very very good points to them though they all do have their problems as well. So it will be, you know, I'm curious to see if Citadelum will be able to pull just the best bits uh, without watering down what makes great city builders city builders. You know, great city builders. So here you can see a bit of the concept art. And I've noticed the concept art, once it's realized into actual graphics, doesn't always translate one to one. So don't take the concept art at face value. You know, you can see the, the concept art is pretty much a cartoony drawing. Then you have the 3D model that they render for the actual game graphics and you can see if you do spot the difference quite a bit changes from the concept art to the final rendition and even then the quote final rendition we're seeing here is not necessarily the final rendition this is the first reveal I listed Citadelum in my upcoming Roman city builders ancient Roman city builders list and at that time we only had concept art and now we're starting to see the concept art translating into the game and quite a bit is changing but this is really just the first reveal. I'm gonna point out once again we're not seeing any raw gameplay in these videos this is all curated flybys, spin-arounds, <laughs> you know. 
but it does at least show off what everything is supposed to be. Like we can see there's resources, we can see there's a mini map. The, the addition or rather inclusion of military I think is going to keep a lot of people happy because, you know, these ancient civilization city builders tend to be very tied to the military aspect as well, not just mechanically for a game, but for, you know, thematic and, you know, historical reasons. There was a lot of military. It's very central to ancient civilizations. That's how they survived and became famous ancient civilizations. They had military and conquests and they can fight off enemies. But yeah, see here there's a building called Loom. So that's sort of indicating the level of production in terms of resources we're going to be having in this game. We have saw farms earlier and you can see reservoirs and aqueducts there and various facilities. Resource-wise, it does seem like there's going to be production chains. Here we have a bakery, you know, and a loom would imply probably growing of flax or hemp or some kind of fabric-y material to gr turn into clothing, which is probably going to be a resource to provide to houses and evolve insula and all of that. And speaking of evolving, providing resources to insula and stuff like that, we can see into the, the houses and into the buildings in this game. And I really, really hope they do the Civ City Rome thing where when you look inside a house, it actually shows the resources in that house that are being provided to that house, you know? So like if a house is receiving wheat, you look inside the house and you can see like baskets of wheat in the house. That's the kind of thing that I really want to see again. Civ City Rome, I would not say is the best game, but it is a very curious game if you want to look into that. It's sort of a mix of civilization and a Roman city builder. <laughs> it, it's, it's strange. It's, it's interesting. But honestly, for old city builders, old ancient Roman city builders, I would say Grand Ages Rome is probably the best one. But of course, I like Caesar III along with Julius and Augustus, so that's personal preference. But Grand Ages Rome holds up. Alright, so here we can see a lot of the, the training facilities being shown off. And you can see this game does have a bit more of a light-hearted, a bit more of a cartoony approach to not, not just like not just the visuals per se, you know, but like the stuff that the people are doing in the buildings, like riding wooden horses or doing little funny training montages and things like that. But it's not fully cartoony. Here's a stable. It's got horses in it. Great. <laughs> and it does seem to be classifying citizens into these different social classes. The merchants, the patricians, the plebs. And you can see here there's a gladiator school. There does seem to be a lot of buildings. Also, I just noticed there's a wall with a gatehouse. And I'm not sure... I don't think that I've not seen any military actually approaching or attacking the city. So I don't expect there to be military on your city map. I think they're going for the Caesar 2 approach where military battles happen on a separate map. And actually that's what I've been saying would be a great addition to like the impression style battles where if you want to make it a little less RTS in your city, then do the Caesar 2 thing and have it on the world map and then when battles commence, they have their own little separate staging area, you know? Because that's really, like, historically how battles would have played out. They don't have people just showing up at your walls. You would send your army out to meet them on the battlefield. You wouldn't be fighting under your aqueducts, <laughs> you know? So I do sort of appreciate the separate map for the military. The auto battler aspect, I think that's, you know, here or there. Uh, some of you would probably be fine with the auto battler stuff. Some of you probably would prefer more RTS approach. But auto battlers have been picking up steam in recent times. I mean, people keep telling me Mechabellum is amazing. And it seems like you do still deploy your units and their positioning. So, you know, it's, it's not like you don't have any control. It's not just a calculation of who has the most units. Oh, here, a granary. We can see resources are meant to be displayed in the granary. Let's zoom in. Does it show? It does have slots for resources. I'm not sure if that's actually going to be showing the resources one-to-one, -one, depending on what's stored there. It's a little hard to tell, actually, though, visually. 
from that because they went for the realistic granary. In the Impressions games, a lot of the buildings were redesigned from realistic structures into more symbolic structures. So like you can see, you know, the granary in Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. It's just like, it's like a, the, the warehouses and storage yards where it's just tiles and then you see the tiles fill up on a flat plane. But that's not really what granaries look like. Granaries look like that taller structure there because you want to raise it off the ground and stuff to have various storage for different things. And that makes it harder to see at a glance. But hopefully the information will be presented in the UI a bit clearer. Now, they do have this portion of the video, which is showing off some animations, which right now seem a little laggy, to be honest. Uh, I assume it'll smoothen out because actually in the game visuals that they've shown prior to this, the animation seemed fine. This just seems a little low res because I think these are work in progress animations. Look at this guy. <laughs> Practice for chariot archery, which again, it, it sort of harkens back to what I was mentioning of the slight cartoony approach, but not too cartoony. It's just maybe cartoony is the wrong word. It's more of a lighthearted approach to the Roman Empire, which might be a bit of a conflict, but I don't know. It sort of works out. It's a video game, you know. There's some suspension of disbelief. But look at this. There's actually all these animations of people who are working their profession. So when we look into the buildings in the final game, we should be able to see, like, all the little details, which I know a lot of people will appreciate. But yeah, this is what we've seen of Citadelum so far. I think it's pretty promising. I think it's one to watch for sure. And they're meant to be releasing in 2024 as far as I understand. I mean, of course, it could get delayed, but it seems like the game has come up quite a ways already. This is going to be... I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on this and I'll keep you updated. Ancient Roman city builders, always good to have another one. It'll be great if it's a good one, but I don't know if this is going to be a good one quite yet. It's just, it's teasing. It's teasing so much of what I and many other people want and bringing back a lot of these long forgotten features of older city builders. But I, I, I just... I, I just haven't seen the raw gameplay of actual, like, gameplay gameplay. Like, you notice none of these, none of this footage has, like, actual, well, it's like, it's all very heavily edited. So we don't know exactly what's being cut out. You know, visual glitches at this point would be expected. Bugs and stuff, of course, would be expected. This is still earlier on in the development. I expect this to be at least six to nine months away from releasing. I don't think they're announcing a release date quite yet. Um, but yeah, that's Citadelum. Please let me know what you think. I'm really curious as to what you think of this reveal, because it's not the first time I've just sort of shown off the reveal of a new ancient Roman city builder. They're kind of my thing, as you would know. And... Based on what we've seen, based on what's been shown off, what do you think? What are you? What are your concerns? You know, what are you worried about? What like did you catch something that they were trying to hide from us in this footage that uh, maybe we didn't quite that, that I didn't catch something that they're sort of cropping off the edge of the screen that might be a little bit mm, that could be something. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you found this uh, initial reveal of Citadelum interesting. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.